Okay, um, <coughs> recently someone uploaded um, some disproofs of someone using Quantum Woo technology, a.k.a. green screen and Photoshop and uh, After Effects, uh, both are Adobe products, by the way, um, to make um, the stealth cloak, otherwise known as invisibility cloak from Harry Potter, a reality. Now, every single time, this has turned out to be fake. But there is one really glaring example <coughs> of people not even trying here. On CNN in 2012, they actually ran a serious story from somebody who said, oh, I can't tell you about the technology, I can't release it, I'm looking for investors. You know, like every single example of somebody doing a perpetual motion machine. And yes, this is highly modified, so flagging my YouTube channel will just make it look like you can't stand any criticism. Mr. Uh, Faker. Yes, this is literally the picture that was used. It's uh, one of the assistants, and she held up a green screen cardboard thing, and they did a static shot. They also had a picture of her laying on the ground covered with the quote-unquote stealth cloth, and it was supposed to bend light around it, which means underneath it you can see a dark shadow, which means there was no light underneath, but yet it represented on top light. What that means is they phonied it up. Okay, next. This is, the cha this is the company. It's called HyperStealth. And they said they have quantum stealth technology. They do not. It does not actually exist at all. I mean, literally, in any way, shape, or form. They've never demonstrated this in any way, shape, or form. I have the same rule for them that I have for somebody making a perpetual motion machine or even saying they have a light bulb, a switch, and a battery. I want to see them actually do it, and I don't want them to give me the excuse of, we can't show you the technology. Bullcrap! The reason they didn't show us the technology is they don't have it. That's a simple answer. And I did archive it, and yes, it says archived April 1st. Anyway, next. CNN's Chris Lawrence said, Military quantum stealth technology, Harry Potter invisibility cloak, not needing a power source, was seen by 2012, December 4th. No, it was not. They did literally no fact-checking on the story. Their source guy, Kramer of Hyperstealth ADS and his company's pictures shown seem to prove this, but just like the professional motion machine, they were mock-ups of quantum stealth light bending material effects with an assistant behind it. And then the website said they also said no cameras and no projectors are used. Well, no. Uh, it was just the standard green screen chroma key photoshopped into this two minute and 37 second lie not an error, not a mistake it was an appeal for investors and it was and always will be a lie unless they demonstrate it period and a statement what they did do is they came out with a camouflage material that would change darkness or lightness so it would adapt to the environment you're in that was actually worthwhile however, like any other light sensitive material it's going to age faster and they're going to have to have a high turnover is, there's no necessity for that. So I don't think they even have any... Uh, I don't think they have any military contracts in this. I'm pretty sure they don't. And I'm definitely sure they don't have a technology that does any of these things because that technology is called faking a video. They use static shots, which are very controllable. They didn't demonstrate the object in 3D space with a person. And the only reason I've gotten this brought up to me is um, somebody posted a video that's supposed to be from China that's supposed to show the same thing. And I'd like to point out <clears throat> something very, very upsetting to me. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get this done really quick. Um, CNN didn't fact check. Snopes didn't fact check this. Skeptic Stack Exchange didn't check this. In fact, um, Reddit didn't fact check it. Quora didn't fact check it. Rational Skepticism didn't fact check it. Nobody said the simple basic thing. The really basic thing. <laughs> this was a lie, and CNN allowed it to go through. They did not fact check it. I've told people I, I have examples of this, but why don't we bring up real examples? CNN helped somebody promote a hoax for money. This is something worth pointing out. This is something they should apologize for and leave on the front page for three or four weeks just to keep their FCC freaking licenses for the locations and communication pathways they use. Nobody has any crying of outrage about this because this is what we really want. Everyone wants the Harry Potter uh, stealth cloak. I want the Marauder's Map. 
Um, we don't have that yet. And we definitely don't have this. This does not exist. The word quantum isn't a magic elixir to get rid of proofs, and uh, this did make them look like a bunch of shilling twits. And I'm stating out loud that the company that uh, helped them do this lied. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that. Mock-ups.